All right, so today we have a laptop from Lenovo and this is Lenovo's yoga series. You know the series that can flex and by flexible I mean Sad bro that I can't touch my feet. I can. I am flexible and so is this laptop. So the Lenovo Yoga series starts from 60 to 70,000 rupees. The one we have here comes with the latest i7 13 gen processor, 1080p webcam, 1TB SSD. Plus this is an Intel Evo certified laptop. More on this in just a moment. But the USP of this laptop is the display because it is an OLED display. So will this Lenovo Yoga 7 live up to the reputation? Well, let's find that out together. Let's go. Also, this video is made in collaboration with Lenovo and Intel. Now, before we get to the display and performance, let's talk about about the design and build quality. Like the overall build of the laptop is pretty nice. Lenovo calls this color Tidal Teal. And even in this color, the laptop appears minimal. Plus this is an overall metal finish, so it feels quite sturdy. Also, this is a 14 inch laptop, so it's pretty compact. Like I was carrying it daily from office to home and I had no issues. It would easily fit in this sexy bag. Also see here, it weighs in around this much. For a laptop, that is pretty good. Now there are two important things with the design of the laptop that I must point out. First of all, this is a two-in-one laptop, meaning it can be a laptop or if you want, you can rotate the screen completely and now it becomes a tablet. Ah, this is why it is called yoga, so that it can flex. And second is the position of the speakers. See, the speakers is placed over here. It's facing the user directly and this is a plus point because most Windows laptops usually have the speakers at the bottom, which blocks the sound when you use it on your lap, like a laptop. Laptop, get it? Also, you get support for Dolby sound, so have a listen to this. I would say the sound here is good, like as far as Windows laptop is concerned, the audio quality is above average. Also speaking of Dolby, you even get Dolby Vision support on this laptop, so watching movies and all of that is pretty good on this one. Like this is OLED plus Dolby Vision. So see, I'll play the new Jurassic World movie on Netflix here. The color, sharpness and all of them are pretty nice. Now, here's my favorite thing of a two-in-one laptop. Like if I'm using my phone or something, I just keep the laptop in this tent mode like this and keep playing the movie. Other than this, the display is 14 inch, full HD, 60 hertz display which I would say is decent. Like I would have preferred if it was a 2K display or even if it was 90 hertz, but this is also fine. Not big of an issue. Plus, since this can also convert into a tablet, the display here is touchscreen. And one good thing with Windows 11 is that the icons have gotten bigger and the menu has gotten more suitable for touchscreen laptops now. Moving on to the keyboard and trackpad, I would say the typing experience here is pretty nice. Like listen to the sound of it. Like if you're sitting on the desk, there's no wobble on the screen when you type or even if you're using it on your lap, you won't have any issues. The only thing is the backlight on the keyboard does not have auto mode. So whenever you switch off the lights, you'll have to press it manually. There's two level of backlighting and it's bright enough for night times. Also the trackpad here is pretty accurate. Like it supports all the windows gesture. I would have liked if it was slightly bigger, like this much, but it's not a deal breaker. Talking about performance, there are a few things to talk about. First, let's talk about the hardware side of things. So this year comes with the latest Intel i7-1360 P processor. Now for those who don't know, P processors sit in the middle of U and H series. Like the P series sits right between battery and performance. Like it's really good for casual tasks like watching videos, typing documents and all of that. And it can even do photo editing and some light video editing on 1080p. Now we ran Cinebench and it scored around this much, which I would say is a decent score for this laptop. Also this has Intel Iris graphics, which is an integrated GPU. So you can do casual gaming like CSGO, Rocket League and all of that without any issue. Also the variant that we have has 16 GB RAM and 1TB SSD. And the second part of the hardware is this is an Intel Evo certified laptop. Now this Intel certification is only given when a laptop has certain features. There's a long list, but for those who don't know, I'll mention a few important ones that you get with the Lenovo Yoga laptop here. Like you get a one second wake up time. So see here, if I open the lid, it wakes up so fast, almost instantaneous. Also Intel Evo certified laptops have more than nine and a half hours of battery life, which for a laptop is pretty good. Plus this Type-C port here is Thunderbolt. So you can even charge via the Type-C port or if you want, you can connect an external display directly through it. So from a performance standpoint, this Lenovo Yoga laptop is pretty good. Coming back to the topic of ports, you get most of the necessary connectivity ports here. On the left, you get an HDMI port, two Type-C port, both of them are Thunderbolt, which is a good thing, and a headphone jack. On the right, you get a USB-A port, micro SD card slot, and the power button. Now you do not get any fingerprint sensor here, but you do have Microsoft Face Unlock, which works pretty fast. And since we are on the subject of camera, you get a 1080p webcam, and this is how the footage quality is. You can have an idea of it, but I would say it's decent for the price. Plus you also get a physical privacy shutter here, so that's handy. So yeah, that was our first impression of the Lenovo Yoga 7 laptop and at first glance it may seem a bit pricey because you get H series, i7 or even i9 processors at this price point but then those are 
not two in one. This has an excellent display, good sound, and pretty decent performance. So for someone who needs both tablet and laptop with an OLED display, it is a good premium offering. Presently, it is selling for 1.15 lakhs. You can check out all the other variants from the link in the description. On that note, Jeep signing off. See you in the next video. Thank you.